I'm here to tell you to give up. Give up on your manifestations. You've worked too hard, too long, put too much energy and effort into them, and nothing is moving. It's time to give up and let the universe work. Give up. Not because your manifestations are not going to come to pass, but because you are blocking them by not letting them come to pass. If you, like me in the past, have wasted hours, days, months, years, wishing and wishing, and nothing is moving, nothing is happening, which only adds to your anxiety and your doubt surrounding whether your manifestation is ever going to come to pass, then it is time to give up. This may sound like I'm being intentionally inflammatory for the sake of having a catchy title for this video, but I assure you there is truth in this. You don't give up in the sense that you go, ah, it's hopeless, it'll never happen. You give up by releasing your attachment to the outcome. Whether it is your attachment to how it's going to come to pass or your attachment to the need for it to come to pass. It feels contradictory. In a sense, it is. But you have to stop needing, you have to stop wanting, you have to stop yearning for your desire. Because the more you yearn, the more you want, the more you need, the larger the space and distance between you and your desire becomes. This is a tough concept to grasp. It really is. Because how do you stop wanting what you want? And we've talked about this a couple of videos back, but it is so, so important. And I think it is one of the biggest reasons for most people when it comes to blockages in their manifestation. We usually want what we want because we have some sort of pain point, let's say. You want a relationship because you're feeling lonely. You want more money because you feel poor. Your reality is telling you that you don't have enough money. And it's kind of like telling a depressed person just to be happy, right? How do you tell someone that has just looked at their bank account and they've got, they don't have enough to even pay rent, right? How do you tell that person, just believe that you're already rich? <laughs> but you know, that's what you got to do. But as long as you hold on to the resistance, the need, that desperation, you will not be able to let go and start believing, start living as if your desire has already come to pass. So I say, give up, throw it away. It's not important anyway, right? The more we need something, the more we yearn for it, even if it's not a logical need, right? Let's say you want something that that won't save your life. It's not vital. You can live without it. But man, you just, you want it so bad. Throw it away. It's no longer important. It no longer has any value because in truth, it does not have any value. Nothing in this physical illusion has any more value than anything else. Even in a strict physical, logical sense, we know this. Certain things in our world have value because we have decided that they are valuable. That exists as a concept 
in our reality to show us that nothing really has any more value than anything else. Stop putting your desires on a pedestal. Stop needing them. Stop yearning for them. Because the more you yearn, the more, <laughs> the more you yearn, the more you're reinforcing to yourself that you do not have it in the present moment. Remember, energy flows where attention goes. I want you to think back to a time where you got exactly what you wanted and maybe you didn't even manifest it where you didn't consciously manifest it. Maybe you just felt lucky or it was a coincidence. I will bet anything that in that moment, you let go of any attachment to the outcome. Maybe you didn't even know that the result was even a possibility. And that's the trickiest paradox when it comes to manifestation because we want to consciously manifest that is the goal we want to take control of our reality but in order to do so we have to trick ourselves into almost not being aware of it well that's not true we do want to be aware but we have to trick ourselves into not caring into not focusing on it Many people have said this before and it, it, it rings true. It's a great example. Set your order with the universe and wait. When you order something online, you don't sit there with the tracking number fretting over when it's going to get here. Well, maybe you do. <laughs> I admit, I have done that before with, with stuff that, I, that was like time sensitive, I admit. But it doesn't make it any, come any quicker, does it? In fact, it makes it feel like it takes longer. I wonder if the package would actually arrive sooner if we didn't fret over how long it was gonna take. I wanna give you some practical options to try. Because this, this is all very vague, I understand. And I've struggled with this myself in the past. How do you stop wanting what you want or devalue what you want without, without actually not wanting it? Because you still want it, right? And when you get it, you want to enjoy it. But in the meantime, you can't want it. <laughs> so something you can try is you could visualize throwing it away. Like, yes, I'll take it. When it shows up, I will take it, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Don't worry about it. Something I like to do with my clients when it comes to relaxing them, because you can't consciously relax. You can't tell someone to relax and expect them to do it. It doesn't work that way. So what I tell them to do instead is pick up luggage, heavy luggage, that is their burdens, their stress, their, their anxiety, and then physically set them down. Make an action of it. So set your desire, set your intent, and then throw it away. Focus on something else. Live your life. Don't sit around waiting for it, because the longer you will wait, the longer it will take to get there. It may not even get there at all until you stop waiting. A watched pot never, watch pot? A watched kettle never boils. It's like watching grass grow. It's like watching paint dry. We have these sayings, these idioms, and we don't pay attention to them. They're true. They're relevant. There's a reason we have them. Set your intent, commit to it, then throw it away. Don't put it on a pedestal. Put yourself on the pedestal because the truth is that you already have what you want. And this is not some reverse psychology trying to brainwash you into success kind of nonsense. 
it is the truth. You already have what you want because you are the universe. The world you see around you is you. It is what is inside you reflected outwards. Just you're not conscious of all of it. The more you pay attention to what's going on, to the synchronicities, the more you will see that everything around you, everything you experience is you pushed out, reflected. So stop fighting with your desire. Your desire wants to come to you. It's not out there trying to reach you. It's in here trying to come out. But you believe that it's not. You believe that it's out there. You believe that you have to find it, that you have to get it, that you have to create it. No, it is in you. You just have to uncover it. You just have to let it out. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.